I'm on MySpace a lot, you know, I use it to get communicate with some old friends, stay in touch. Um, but I've also noticed that when people get bored on MySpace, they do MySpace surveys. Well, I'd figure I would do a YouTube survey. Well, let's get this thing a-rolling. I don't know about all my other friends, you know, stuff happens, people move, people separate, but I know the one person that I'll always be friends with, he's my best friend in the whole world, that's my homie, my dog, my best friend, Brandon Hopper. Okay, the cool thing about the mob is it's organized crime, which somehow can be organized, it's, it's, it's strange. Um, but you get to have a cool mobster nickname. I've always desired a cool mobster nickname. I have no clue what it'd be. It'd be... Shh, I don't know what goes good with Warren. And nothing goes good with Warren. So I think I'll just join the military because I don't want to get whacked. Because in the military, you die with honor. In the mob, you get whacked. Who wants to get whacked? I don't want to get whacked. Do you want to get whacked? I don't think anybody wants to get whacked. Stripes, of course. Well, a lot of things are made out of chocolate. You can't exactly go get a Skittles bar, so I say Skittles. Hey, who said there was anything wrong with both? It's actually one of my life dreams to hitchhike across America, living for a couple months on others' hospitality. You know, it'd be a good reassurance that there are some good in people still, and I, and I would just have to worry about getting killed or kidnapped, that's all. But other than that, it's something I'd really like to do. I'd really like to be on the road like that. Okay, I probably wouldn't dig through the garbage, but I have gotten really hungry and noticed something I left in my room, maybe for a day or two, nibble on it, you know, sedate my hunger, but that's about it. I don't think I'd dig in the garbage. Sometimes that can be gross. Heck yes. Um, um, a rough, crispy treat is really good. Mmm. I would like to say $3,000 on the spot, but I'd probably do it for 1500 how I, I could buy a car, a cheap, really used car for that kind of money. I could really use a car, and if it means open mouth kissing a hobo, I'll open mouth kiss a hobo. That would be the easiest three thousand dollars I've made in my life. You know, it doesn't say I have to enjoy it. Huh? Hold on. Oh, my hot topic foundation mints. They're pretty edible. Other than that, I'm not sure there's anything in my room that's edible. Oh, there's a... No, that's not a Pop-Tart. <laughs> okay, I don't know exactly what this survey meant by fav. I don't have a fav anything. But I think it's some clever way to say favorite. Whatever, people think they're funny. Um, my favorite hang out would have to be anywhere with some cool friends. My favorite way to kill somebody would be some extravagantly unnecessary ninja technique. And my favorite villain, of course, is Darth Vader. My favorite hero. It's a like as far as superheroes goes, it's a very close race between Batman and Spider Man. I love Batman. He's amazing. But out of the two Batman's a ninja. I mean that sets him over the top. I, just, I, I can't narrow it down between those two. Those are my two favorite heroes, Batman and Superman. No, did I just say Superman? Shoot myself in the face. I don't really like Superman. I meant Batman and Spider-Man. Heck yes, I watched Pokemon and Power Rangers. I swear to God, as soon as second grade hit, everybody was talking about Pokemon. I mean, it was the craze. Everybody had the cards, little card things. Everybody knew all the names. I remember when the new series of them would come out for, like, the next, like, 
group of Pokemon, like the newer ones, everybody flip out, and then it kind of just died a little bit. And the, as far as Power Rangers go, I've watched them throughout my childhood. You know, until like the newer, new, newer stupid seasons came out, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the one after that, and the one after that in the movies. I liked them. You know, I'm a dork. I liked Power Rangers. I loved Pokemon. I'm not much of a fan of either right now. I love the original Power Rangers, and I still watch little Pokemon, but that's about it. Okay, the few things I was raised on, the few things that when I grew up made me who I am now, um, in my house there was two options. You could either listen to country music with my mom or oldies with my dad. I was raised upon oldies, you know, Beatles, everybody back then. You, as you can see my Beatles poster, I love all kinds of oldies. Um, another thing I was raised on was definitely Star Wars. I saw Star Wars when I was three years old and my life has not been the same since. I watched, like I said previously, I watched Pokemon, that was a 90's thing, Power Rangers, another good thing. I was raised upon video games, NES, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, even GameCube a little bit more recently. I, video games was a very large factor in my life, and if all these, this culmination of things would have never happened. I don't think I'd be the same person I am. I don't think I'd have the same taste in music. I don't think I'd have the taste in any kind of entertainment. I mean, another thing I was raised on, musicals. I love musicals. I might be one of the very few males in this world that will admit that one of his favorite musicals is Singing in the Rain, which, by the way, I know when everybody hears the word Singing in the Rain, they think some kind of sappy love musical. No, that musical was hilarious. I'm convinced the directors were on LSD. I'm for real. It was hilarious. Anyway, I like musicals. It's a rare thing to find in guys. I was I was raised on all those things, and I promise you, if I would have not been exposed to those in my childhood, I would not be the same person I, that you're looking at today. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I was raised upon. I covered video games. <laughs> That's about it, you know. Made me who I am today.